Hey guys, welcome to this session. This is Primo's Learning, and we are here today to talk about um, the daily activities of an AWS Solutions Architect. This is going to be a very useful video, guys. Um, this this is uh, this is what so many people have been looking for. So we got you covered today. Please just stay with us for five minutes and. Uh, follow the various tips. These are the things that an AWS solutions architect do in their daily lives. So if you've been, if you've been looking to be an AWS solutions architect, if you want to be an AWS solutions architect and you've been thinking of, hey, what are some of the things that AWS solutions architects do? We got you right here. So let's jump right in. The very first thing that AWS solutions architects do in their daily uh, lives or in, in their day-to-day -day activities. Uh, the very first one is developing architecture diagrams for any infrastructure that they need to build. That's the very first thing. AWS solutions architect develop infrastructure diagrams. So they build architectural diagrams using tools like, um, yeah, so many tools out there, guys. Uh, but most tools that you would see will be Gliffy, will be Miro or Miro. There's draw.io, draw.io. There is many others. There are many other tools out there, guys, uh, that people use to build uh, applications. There's Lucid Chart as well, which is so, so good and simple. These are very simple tools that are used for diagramming to build architectural diagram for infrastructure that um, uh, AWS architects want to build. Why is it important to build these diagrams? It is important because um, you, know, you translate the logical things that you'll be building to physical stuff that people can visualize, to a visualization that people can actually see and know what you're talking about. It is very, very important to have uh, architectural diagrams when you're building out your infrastructure. That's the very first thing uh, we we'll mentioned today. The second thing that AWS Solutions Architect do, Architects do in their daily activities include attending meetings to discuss about ongoing projects, right? Uh, so most of them, um, my day, I'll, I'll be using my day as an example, guys. So many times a day I go in, into meetings, there could be scrum meetings, right? Um, like daily stand-ups, just to discuss what I did yesterday, what I'm doing today, uh, if I have any blockers, anything that's blocking me from achieving the work that I'm supposed to, the, or from achieving, the success that I'm supposed to achieve in the projects that I'm working on. So there are always these meetings. And then sometimes you would need to have like backlog grooming meetings. You need to have like meetings preparing for a new sprint and so on and so forth. So these are some of the meetings that you'll be attending. You'll be attending meetings with your maybe directors. You'll be attending meetings with your team. You'll be attending meetings about anything that you are working on. So there's a lot of meetings that you need to attend. The third thing, guys, is that AWS Solutions Architects monitor um, AWS accounts, right? To make sure everything is working as planned. So they, they monitor whatever is going uh, on in the AWS accounts. They make sure there are no threats. They make sure there are not, uh, no alerts that need to be mitigated. They make sure there are no uh, cybersecurity threats that are coming in and out. So they want to mm, monitor the applications. They want to monitor the environment. AWS, for instance, uh, has so many tools that you can use to monitor the, 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 the AWS accounts that you have. There is CloudWatch, which is an amazing service that AWS has out there that's used for monitoring and measuring matrices and taking logs and so on that you can use. There is CloudTrail, which is yet another service that AWS offers. There are so many other services that um, will help you uh, you know, in monitoring and making sure your accounts are working. There is uh, also the billing part of it. You have to monitor billing as well, guys. 
because you can be, you know, half infrastructure running and you, by the time you discover you are supposed to be, you're paying 20,000 or 30,000, whatever, if you don't monitor and have billing alerts on your AWS account. So those are some of the things that you monitor for. And then some of the fourth thing that AWS solutions architects do, I'm just going through them uh, quickly, is they develop data pipelines and connectivity to data, right? To data sources. So you'll be building data pipelines. And so you need to make sure, uh, because most of the times the work is all about uh, maybe moving data from one place to another, uh, connecting data to data sources, building data processes, and manipulating data all over the place. So you will be helping build connections to data sources. You'll be helping actually build those data pipelines and making sure they are functioning well and um, granting access to those who need access to those particular um, uh, data sources. That is the full thing. The fifth thing, guys, is that you'll be building automate uh, scripts to automate processes so you'll be building scripts they could be bash scripts they could be python scripts they could be anything uh, that helps you you know to get to get a process run faster or to automate a process um, those are some of the things you will be doing you'll be building lambda functions as well you'll be building uh, different things right lambda functions that will act as services to to help other processes, other things. You just want to tell the function to go stop an EC2 instance. You will be building some of those things. Those are some of the activities of Lambda. And Lambda is a very neat service that AWS has uh, out there, guys. Uh, other things that AWS solutions architects do that I do daily <laughs> um, include, you know, uh, maybe checking policies to make sure uh, you know, you have uh, people have access to what they need. Most at times, uh, users will come to you saying, "Hey, I don't have access to this S3 bucket. I don't have access to the SageMaker uh, notebook. I don't have access to get this data. I have this error here." So you will be making sure that IAM policies are granted to the users that or services that need them. You see a lot of those things, guys. You see them coming up. Uh, from time to time. And so you need to learn how IAM works very well to be a successful AWS solutions architect. These are some of the things that you'll be doing. Overall, you'll be designing systems. So making sure that systems um, are built that are resilient. You'll be building security into those systems. You'll be building for performance. You'll be building for resiliency and redundancy. You'll be making sure there are backups of things that things are, you know, there are replica sets for databases and so on and so forth. You'll be making sure that uh, things function the way they are supposed to function. If they don't function well, you have to mitigate the situation. Those are some of the roles and you know uh, activities of a, an AWS solutions architect, guys. Uh, we'll stop there for now. Uh, watch out for the next videos. We'll be talking about the daily activities of a DevOps engineer, guys. So stay tuned. Um, this is Primo's Learning signing off.